Welcome to the Pearl Project, a faculty student investigative reporting project at Georgetown University. My name is Asra Nomani, and I was a former reporter at the Wall Street Journal and a friend of Daniel Pearl's. Danny was visiting my home in Karachi, Pakistan, when he left for the interview from which he never returned. In this video, we will unravel the fatal events that ended his life. We will also discuss the many lessons to be learned from these events. Daniel Pearl had come to Pakistan to cover the story of Al-Qaeda. Richard Reed, also known as the Shoe Bomber, was the next attempted strike at the West. There was a report that the man directing Reed in his operation was a cleric in Pakistan, Mubarak Ali Shah Jalani. However, Jalani denied this. Danny was trying to interview Jalani. Danny discovered that Reed might have been at a safe house in Pakistan and suspected that he had not been acting alone, but in fact had ties to Al-Qaeda. In order to investigate those potential ties, Danny focused his investigation on the days leading up to the attempted bombing of American Airlines Flight 63. Police in Paris had revealed that Reed was emailing someone in Pakistan from locations in Paris in the days leading up to the attempted bombing. Police were able to identify that Reed sent multiple emails to an account based in Pakistan with a strange name. Like Pearl, other journalists wanted to figure out who Reed's handler was in Pakistan. The first reporter to establish the link between Jelani and Reed was Farah Stockman, a Boston Globe reporter in Islamabad. She wrote a story published January 6, 2002. The headline, Bomb Probe Eyes Pakistan Links. In fact, the actual facilitator was someone else, Umar al baluchi the nephew of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. The Directorate of National Intelligence says, in late 2001, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed directed his nephew to be the communications intermediary between Al-Qaeda and Richard Reed. Just as Danny had suspected, Richard Reed was sent by Al-Qaeda. The Pearl Project has learned that a top military commander in Al-Qaeda, Mohammed Atif, was Reed's facilitator. When Atif was killed in U.S. bombing in Afghanistan after 9-11, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed inherited Reed. In late 2001, Reed met Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in Karachi, and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, unimpressed by Reed, handed him over to his nephew. Chasing the Reed story had unintended fatal consequences for Danny Pearl.